All right, we are here with Jason and Dylan checking out their 55. So this is kind of a, not kind of, but a significant car to you guys because we had this car for a while, but I guess you've not owned this car for a long time, but this has been a car you guys, it's been in the family for a while, right? Yeah, I grew up in this car. Uh, my dad got it when I was about two, two or three. So it's been in our family about 40 years. Uh, when my dad passed away, we, uh, we fought to get the car so that I could raise my boys in it like uh, my dad did, my sister and I. Uh, so it's just a family heirloom. I've had a couple people offer to buy it and, you know, it's, it's, it's priceless to us. So um, I'm trying to do the same thing that my dad did with my sister and I is raise my boys in it. Cruise in, coming to car shows, donate to our lakes, a whole nine yards. So it's a fun car to cruise around. Mm -hmm. So, was there something special about this car that your dad went out and bought this car? Was he looking at other things, or do you? No. So I think the story on it is that uh, my uncle actually had a, a Nomad, and he joined the California Nomads Car Club. And uh, I think my dad just wanted to be a member. You know, talking to my uncle, and <laughs> they, they, so he ended up getting interested, and um, he ended up buying this. I think he was the third owner. Um, I think we bought it in 1980, and uh, pretty much, I think the the second owner of it had it painted. I don't think I don't know if this is the original color on it. Oh, okay. I think it is. Um, but probably about 20 years ago, we tore it all apart, had it painted, and a lot of new chrome. Had the uh, tram re-chrome, so it's it's probably about a 25 year old, uh, somewhat of a garage restoration, <laughs> you know, just a, a blue collar restoration on it. A blue collar restoration. That was nice way to nice way um, to put it. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's nice. It's a cool cruiser. Get a lot of thumbs up. A lot of yeah. You know, kick ass. You know, so it, it's fun. The kid, every time we cruise around, he's got his arm hanging out the window. <laughs> Lots of smile, smile on his face the whole time. <laughs> and I, I mean, really, uh, I know a lot of people know who he is. He's he's in a lot of your videos, and yeah, he used to be uh, Dano's little protege. So he's got a lot of followers, and I mean, I I, I do it now all pretty much for him and and his little brother. They love it. So getting up early every Saturday morning, coming to Donut Dirt Lakes and cruising with SEC and all the car shows, pretty much so that this kid can get out and you know make a lot of contacts. He's, it's crazy the amount of knowledge that he learns. He walks around and tells me, you know, this this year car and this type of engine. <laughs> it just blows me away for an 11 year old kid to be as smart as he is with the cars and stuff. There could be worse things he's doing, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and it's funny, we have a conversation with my wife. You know, before it went from, hey dad, when I grow up, I want to be a fireman, to now it's, hey dad, I want to, uh, you know, get into photography and be a mechanic. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's so awesome. We'll so yeah, I mean, for an 11 year old kid, it's it's pretty special to, to be as interested in, in it as he is. Yeah, that is special. Now, what, what motor came in in your car? So I, I'm not sure exactly what the stock motor is. I think it was a 283. Mm -hmm. Um, but right now we got a 327 in it. There's a 327 with a power glide. Okay. Wow. Oh, whoops. This is not really, really nice and clean. Yeah, I mean it. We have our our issues here and there. As one of these. Well, it's it's an old car, so that's that's what happens, right? One of these days we'll do the LS swap, maybe. Yeah. Get some maybe. Energy. <laughs> or you could pro-charge it. <laughs> Jeez. We're getting we're getting crazy already, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's, crazy. it's just a, a, a driver. Yeah. Actually, it was funny because we were going to cruise night on Wednesday night, and it looked like he was going to rain. And I told him, I said, oh, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't take the Nomad. He goes, Dad, <laughs> our car's a driver. It doesn't matter. So, <laughs> you know, it's not a trailer queen. It's not a no. show, show centerpiece, but it's a, it's a driver. I think that's what my dad would have intended, you know, intended it for. Just to drive it, yeah. Yeah, just I really like the out. I really like the color. And were they 
Do you know if all the nomads had like this color separation of the white? <laughs> You know, I think a lot of them are, are painted. Oh, okay. I think this this molding was loose, so my dad drilled it. The other side doesn't have the the screw in Were it. Were they all I, like painted I noticed, white? No. Um, I don't. A lot of the guys have them painted red or. Oh, okay, you know, depending. It just depends on the color combo. I think you know, off the showroom floor, I think the the, the turquoise and white. Or, I think they, they were white, but. Hmm. You know, a lot of the red cars, some of them I've seen have, have it painted red. It just depends. Depends on what options they have from the factory, I guess. Yeah, exactly. And yours is a manual car? Oh, no, it's not an automatic. Yeah, just automatic, two speed power glide, mm -hmm. um, stock transmission. That's something I would eventually like to, to throw in as a newer transmission Sorry, because we definitely, <laughs> it takes a minute to really get going. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, the kids crawl over the seats and it's funny <laughs> because I never drove this car until my dad passed away. Once we got it, that was the first time I ever drove it. Really? So when, I, how old were you when your dad passed away? Uh, probably about 30, 30, 31 or 32. And right you, you never drove this car when you Never was drove like, it. Why was, is that? He, that? It was his baby. Really? You know, there was, I remember telling him I wanted to drive it to prom and stuff. and. It's kind of a joke when my sister and I were growing up that he would tell us, uh, I want to be buried in this car. <laughs> and, uh, we always just kind of laughed it off. And then, you know, I never really actually thought I would ever actually in inherit it. Wow. Um, per se, but, uh, wow. but yeah, so it was my dad's baby. And I remember, you know, there was no way I would ever be allowed to crawl over the seats and oh, I'm sure and, and do what I let the kids do to it. But <laughs> I know maybe at some point when they're older and and they they're in college and moved on, maybe I'll invest the money to really actually do a restoration on it and have really nice interior. And but for right now, it's just a fun family cruiser. Right. But I mean, while you're using it and that you do have the younger kids there's no reason to do that no right absolutely yeah not. Um, <laughs> that's funny and the the calendar is a really cool piece to have here back here too because it's got the picture you guys right just you know open that and yeah so um so what's the story be behind that too because i don't even i don't even know the story really behind the calendar so last year for this is the dan chuck 2021 calendar and this is our car featured in april this month actually um so i do the california nomads we, we're like lifetime members of the california nomads mm -hmm. uh, and so a little over a year ago we, we were talking about uh just doing an instagram page kind of starting social media stuff and so i kind of ran with it and uh, started a instagram page the california nomads and uh not too long after i started that page up i got a message from um a representative of danchuk and she said hey we're looking to put a nomad on the calendar and i my car i don't think is calendar worthy <laughs> it's, it's nice but it's not it's not a show point you know yeah and uh i went to the nomad meeting and i told some of the guys hey danchuk's looking for a nomad for their calendar and nobody really responded everybody just kind of i sent out emails nobody responded so i emailed her back and i said well i have this nomad and i, <laughs> I have her, mine <laughs> yeah i sent her a couple of pictures of mine and they said that's perfect that's exactly what we're looking for um you know just a beach cruiser something you know along the coast yeah and so i i was lucky enough they picked the nomad and we went down and did a, a cool photo shoot uh, lenses and wheels was a photographer super cool guy great photos um and the photo shoot turned out awesome yeah it looks great uh all the cars in the truck all the cars that are in there we ended up kind of becoming buddies and stuff there's another nomad that's featured in june i think scott Mann's 57 it's beautiful so that's really kind of i mean not only raising my kids but you know making friendships you know like you for example yeah contacts different tripod guys and uh, like tomorrow we got the big quarantine cruise and we're gonna meet up with all the tripods and you know hopefully we have 20 30 cars and 
I mean, it's just all about that family experience, making friends. You know, Dylan knows he's got contacts galore. Now I, <laughs> I pull into Donut Derelicts and everybody comes up to say hello to Dylan. So, I mean, it's, it's really, really cool. Nobody cares about you, just the kid, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's really cool to be able to, to, to be recognized and, you know, say hello, fist bumps every morning uh, or every Saturday morning when we come here. It's cruise night. It, it's really cool. All the car guys are really cool guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I, I think your car is really cool too. Cause a lot, like you said, a lot of the nomads are, you know, either they've gone like the full resto mod and they got the LS and all that stuff. And there's a lot of them have been completely customized over the years, but yours is still, you know, very stock and it's, there's nothing really done to it. So it's, it's just like a really cool time capsule. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And you, just, you, I mean, you talk about wanting to do all these things too, which I think is cool, but I, I still think it's, it's really cool just how it is. Cause it's just like you rolled it off the factory floor and it's, you know, in 1955 and it's here. Very similar. Um, I was, when, when, when I realized I was actually going to get the car, mm -hmm. that was kind of the first thing that I thought was, Hey, uh, let's lower it. <laughs> 20 inch steel wheels on there. Uh, you know, kind of customize it so it's kind of low ride, low rider, cool. And uh, everybody that I really talked to, a lot of the older guys from the club and stuff, said, "No way, dude! You gotta, you gotta keep it stock." Yeah. And one of the first car shows that we put it in, the uh, Huntington Beach Beach Cruiser Show, uh, we actually won an award. Uh, and a lot of the guys came up and they told me, "Hey, we voted for your car because it's stock." You know, a majority of the guys that get the cars now, they put in the LS swaps and, you know, they're they're bagged and paint jobs, 20-inch rims. Right. And I, that's cool. Yeah. But uh, they look nice. But just the stock, you know, runner is, is nicer, you know. It's a little bit more traditional. Yeah. Uh, it's almost different now to not do something, right? Yeah, it kind of stands out <laughs> a little bit more like Yeah. So the, the, I think the ultimate end goal is for, I think Dylan's going to end up getting this one. And then I'm hoping that my, my younger son will get a 57 and then I'll get the 56. And then we can cruise together as a family with the five, six, and seven. <laughs> there you go. You can have your own uh, tri five, yeah. tri five crew. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we're carrying on my dad's, my dad's passion, you know, as yeah. once my dad got involved with the club, uh, that was pretty much our family. That's what we did as a family growing up. It was all based off that club. It was, you know, Easter picnics and cruises and car runs up the up the coast and Maui Falls. And uh, my uncle is actually still the president of the club. Wow. Um, and he's got a '57 fuel injected Nomad, and uh, it's just fun. It's just a you know a family long tradition. So yeah. Hopefully passing it down. And Dylan's now the third generation of that of, of the Rulands in the car club, and uh, you know, hopefully he carries on, and he carries on, you know, my dad's legacy. Really, yeah, that's kind of what it's all about. What are some things that you like about this car? You know, it's funny because uh, when I when I was old enough to drive, I always wanted like a box Nova. Or, you know, <laughs> six, my dream car really is like a '65 Malibu. Um, and because I was raised in this car, I never, you know, I always knew it was a nice car. I always knew that Nomads were, you know, the higher echelon of wagons. and mm -hmm. But it was never really a, hey, I want a Nomad. They were, <laughs> they're just so overpriced now. You can't find, right. as a kid, you, it's hard to just go out and find a, a beat up old Nomad that you could drive as a, as a daily driver. No, so yeah. So I never really put two cents in to even want a Nomad. And uh, I didn't know that my dad would pass away so early. So it's kind of unexpected. Uh, but now that I have it, my wife will, you know, every once in a while we'll talk and she'll tell me, why don't you sell it and then get your dream car? And, uh, but it's, it's growing on me, you know? Now, just being at, at the age I am, not that I'm old, but cruising down PCH, you know, getting the, the thumbs up, arm out the window. I'm not so much into the, 
you know, blown out motors wanting to race all the time. I'm right. just more into throwing the family in the car and doing a nice cruise down PCH. Yeah. And this is the epitome of California cruising. Yeah, you know, for it's sure. The epitome of you know beach cruiser. You know, we throw the surfboard in the back every once in a while for the that California surf load. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You know, at some point, I think it'd be cool to get some different rims so I can swap them out and stuff. So it kind of has that custom you know look but i think the more that i i drive it and the more that i look at it the more i just fall in love with that stock you know look. yeah every once in a while we, you know i mean nice like this this piece right here this is a mad looks piece uh-huh you know uh it's it's beautiful it i get a wood right there before oh it wasn't okay. wood but it was it was an un unpainted piece um and so, did know, they did they come stock chrome like that? No. Oh. Well, I don't know. To be honest with you, I, ours was painted. Oh. Huh. But it was a three piece, three piece set. And uh, you know, Matt Books sells like these custom pieces. So slowly as we go, just you know, little like, things little, here and there. Little huh? things here and there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. He does uh, new hinges too. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll get some new hinges and have them chromed and mm -hmm. or polished so that it kind of matches with the chrome. But uh, but yeah, just small pieces here and there. Uh, keeping it as my dad, you know, my dad and I, when we tore it apart and put it all back together, this was it. So I'm just keeping his, you know, passion going. Yeah. I think it's cool. It's just a special car to you and your family. I think that's really cool. Yeah. And I think it's it's pretty awesome that you were able to through a lot of you know yeah, <laughs> pulling we, we, hemming and hawing getting it yeah, back. We won't, we won't go into depth on that, but, it but was, through circumstances you were able to get it when your dad passed. And that was, you know, a pretty special thing and a lot of the times that doesn't happen and that's you know that's too bad yeah it was definitely it did not come without the drama <laughs> <laughs> to, to put it lightly. when people pass away and there's family involved there's uh it's never easy right yeah it's definitely a lot of family type drama but, yep <laughs> uh, you know luckily in the end it, it turned out to be good and you know i'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm thankful for my wife for tolerating putting up with <laughs> well i've met her and she's she's pretty awesome and thankfully she puts up with your your car show situations and this crazy child especially, too. Yeah, especially dylan. <laughs> yeah, dylan wakes me up every saturday morning at, min at midnight four, four, four o'clock in the morning no alarm he just is up ready to come to donut derelicts my, so my brain has it set <laughs> Yeah, so he loves it. I mean, there's not many 11 year old kids that wake up at 4 o'clock every Saturday morning and want to come to Donut Garrett Lake. So, no. <laughs> you know, I, I do it for him. Uh, well, I'd probably come once a month, but yeah. <laughs> we've come every single weekend, I think, for the past yeah, you several guys have months. Been here pretty religiously, so. <laughs> but it's like fun. It. And I, I was talking to you earlier, the best thing about Donut Derelicts is. You just never know what's going to show up. You know, you got two million dollar Bentleys. Yeah. And today there's a gyrocopter. <laughs> so I mean, it's yep. all levels. We got. I think guys have even done. You know, they shook. You know, brought their cars from a restoration, and this is the first appearance that they they yeah. done a derelict. Like or sure. cars that are barely running that have one, uh, you know, a crate in them or yeah, something, you know. <laughs> yeah, just rusted out floorboards, you know, Flintstone type cars. Yeah, you could see that. You could, they could see the the bottom, or they could see the ground when they're driving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But it's cool because you get kids that are, you know, 16 years old. It's their first car, and they're so proud. You know, I got this 1986 El Camino. Yeah. Where you know somebody like me, I'm looking at it like, dude. <laughs> but I mean, that's his passion, and, and that's what's really cool is you got kids like that that are bringing their cars through, or you got guys that have a hundred and fifty thousand dollars invested in their car. And, yeah. You know, if there's a little chip in the paint, it's back to the shop it goes. Yeah. So I mean, you have all variety, all kinds of cars across the spectrum. It's, it's like really a couch, cool. A couch on wheels. A couch on yeah, wheels. Couch, yeah. <laughs> that, that one's one of my favorite. Cars. Yeah, that was the. 
the guy, car. the couch car. We drove that all the way to San Francisco. That's right. That was the guy from uh, Wheeler Dealer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, you know, like I said, we get a lot of thumbs up and they cool. You know, your car stop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I won't hold you guys up anymore. I think it's pretty cool you guys come in general, but I, I think the story behind your car is really cool. And I think it's cool you guys drive with family and just enjoy it just how it is. Yeah. Uh, sure. So I'm, I, was, I think it's cool you were able to, through circumstances, get it back from the, the situation in general. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, well, I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah. I mean, Thank that's you. what's really cool too is, uh, you know, you don't know a lot of this